Hey, this is Bryce, and thanks for tuning into my YouTube channel, Jack of Trades. In this video, I am going to do an unboxing of my brand new Rolaro uh, AK917. Um, so this is my first Rolaro um, RC car. Uh, I've been seeing them kind of pop up for a while now, and I, I never really um, took the plunge into the brand, um, but I decided to go ahead and give it a try. My understanding with Rolarlo is that it's basically a high value um, branded car kind of like WL Toys where you're getting a lot of bang for your buck um, with their products. The AK917 is, they advertise it as their um, four wheel drive RC supercar. So it's uh, shaft driven. Um, it's kind of similar to, uh, I guess, a sedan chassis with a four-wheel independent suspension. With this particular model, they offer five different uh, variations of it, ranging from $250 for an aluminum chassis, no electronics model, all the way up to a $400 model, uh, which includes um, all the electronics. It's basically ready to run with radio battery, and it has a carbon fiber chassis, has, I guess, that's the big thing is the carbon fiber chassis. Um, and then in addition to the cars, they have quite a, quite a selection of um, upgrades and hop-ups that you can get for these cars. So another interesting thing about this particular car is they're doing a supercar challenge um, where they are holding a competition. And there's three different categories for that competition. There's a speed run challenge um, where basically the fastest car wins. And they have an appearance modification challenge where they kind of are looking for custom um, custom builds based on uh, cosmetics and they have a time trial challenge where if you can get a group of cars together to race on a particular course um, they'll, they'll take the winners from that, those races. Um, I haven't looked too much into, the, into that particular challenge. Uh, I'm more interested in speed run. I don't think I will be able to do anything competitively um, because I'm kind of late to the game and uh, the speeds that they're talking about, you know, 100 plus miles an hour, um, I just don't have anywhere to run a car like that. Um, but I wanted to go ahead and check out the car and uh, do an unboxing and kind of see what it can do out of the box. So I ended up getting the, um, the high-end uh, version of the car. I'm going to basically be testing it right out of the box as is and see what kind of speeds we can achieve with it. So with that speedrun challenge, there's also been a lot of controversy with this particular car and brand. Uh, people have ordered these cars and they haven't been getting their orders uh, in a timely fashion. Uh, or people have received the cars and they've run them and they've crashed them and they um, haven't been able to get replacement parts. It's taken months to get replacement parts. Um, and with you know, with people trying to compete in the speedrun challenge, that becomes problematic. And I believe Rolaro actually extended the dates of the speedrun challenge to kind of to address these issues. I don't know anything about Rolaro and their customer service and um, kind of their 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 um, shipping practices. Um, but I will state that I ordered this car on June 9th of 2023 and I received it on June 15th of 2023. I am in California, USA. Um, so that, from the date that I ordered to the date that I received it was less than a week. Um, and that is pretty impressive considering this is coming from China. Um, I am tempted to go ahead and order some spare parts ahead of time just to kind of see um, how long it takes to get parts and to kind of gauge um, you know how part support is and is it is it a reasonable platform to invest time into for a speedrun challenge knowing that parts may not be available and i would like to go ahead and establish whether parts are or are not available for this platform um because you know you take it out uh when i was doing the speedrun challenge with the lunchbox i would basically get one or two runs and then crash and break the car and i'd have to go back to the bench and fix things um and that's I think probably pretty typical for speed runs where you get out and you only get a couple runs in and then you crash and you need to have parts and you can't wait you know months and months for parts to show up you need to have parts within a week so to kind of test the process um, I was gonna go ahead and place an order for some parts the parts are actually relatively inexpensive with that being said I'm going to go ahead and flip the camera around and we'll do a proper unboxing thanks for watching all right, so this is how the box shows up in the mail from DHL. It's clearly advertised what's in the box, which probably isn't a good thing, but this is what you get on your doorstep. 
Um, so when you go to open it, you're greeted with a very nice looking case. Um, what, what kind of surprised me when I first got it is it's very it's a very heavy box. And I guess I didn't know what I was getting into. Um, I was kind of thinking it would be a typical RTR RC car. Um, I, I actually didn't realize that it came with a battery and radio. <laughs> so that was kind of my fault for not doing the research. So if I go ahead and weigh this box or this package, um, minus the shipping box, uh, we'll use a bathroom scale. Uh, this thing comes in at, you can't see that because it's LED and it's flashing, but it's 8.6 pounds. So that's a little under four kilograms. So it's, it's a heavy package um, for an RC car, right? Uh, I got it in orange and blue. I like that color scheme. Um, let's get it open. It is a nice case. <laughs> the intent is to store your car in this case when you're not running it. So there it is. Uh, we got some nice foam packaging. Um, there's the car. There's the radio. And we get some instructions and some, uh, I believe there's some spare gears and tools and whatnot. So let's check out the radio. I would imagine if you were serious about these speed runs, you would kind of ditch the radio right off the bat. Um, Cause you're probably gonna want some controls over steering rates and exponentials and whatnot. Uh, ABS braking. And so this is kind of a bare bones um, radio. You've got your typical trims and then you have your rates that you can dial back if you want to. Then there's some dip switches here, which we'll use the radio initially. If I feel the need, I will switch over to my um, Noble radio, um, which is gonna give me better control over steering and throttle. All right, and then we get into the goodie bag. So you got your typical USB charger, which is not needed. Um, some zip ties, Velcro. So we got decals that some have already been used, so that's interesting. Um, we have the instruction manual. Okay. Super speed challenge in 2023. So this is what I was talking about. Basically kind of, so here's the different versions of the car. We got the five different versions. Uh, they're advertising this car as a hundred plus mile an hour car. I'm sorry, they're saying 160 kilometers per hour um, after upgrading the gears and electronic parts. So that's the, that's the caveat is after upgrades, you can get 160 kilometers per hour. And we got some more stickers. These are kind of cool. All right, let's look, and, well, let's look at the gear. So we got, looks like we got some gaskets for differential, a huge pinning gear and three other spur gears. So that's, that's a crazy, I've never seen a pinning gear that big. <laughs> All right, so the body comes with this nice protective film. I think what's kind of cool about this is it has a lighting kit built into it. So we've got a cooling fan mounted to the body, which is the first time I've seen that. Uh, we've got headlights and running lights built into it. Um, it looks like we also have uh, tail lights, uh, which is kind of cool. It's a, you know, it's a nice looking car. Um, Looks like it's got aluminum wheels. Uh, so it's got the carbon fiber chassis, uh, carbon fiber upper deck. It's got these replica rotors and calipers, which is a nice little touch. This is kind of goofy to me. So they have a spare wheel mounted inside here. I don't know, do supercars usually have spare wheels like that? And, and why do you need it on an RC car, right? So that's kind of weird. The shocks look nice. You've got these almost like big bore um, shocks. You know, this, I'm, I'm excited to get this out. Uh, this looks pretty cool. <laughs> uh, nice, nice carbon fiber lower deck. Um, kind of a matte finish, matte weave finish. Uh, foam bumper. 
So plastic suspension parts. Um, I've seen people break these suspension parts in crashes, which is to be expected. Um, I might, so yeah, I think some of the parts I might order are some aluminum, the, the steering knuckles and the uprights. Um, probably stick with the plastic arms to get some spare arms. Uh, maybe look at a stiffer brace here. I don't know. Uh, it's already got the carbon fiber front and rear shock towers. It's got the aluminum wheels. But getting an extra set of wheels will be nice. Fancy receiver, so a six channel receiver with the full on lighting kit. Uh, that's interesting that you have a six channel receiver. You know, first impressions, it's, it's, it's a nice looking car. I'm excited to take it out for a test drive, but it's, it's, it's nice looking. Um, it, it's, it's got some heft to it also. The wheels are towed out. I usually tend to tow in on my wheels, but I should check the suspension geometry just to kind of see if it's where I want it to be. It looks like it's a sensorless brushless motor. There is an additional connector, but it might be like a thermal couple um, for the speed controller just to shut things down. Um, it doesn't have enough wires for it to be the sensor wire, I don't think. It's just two wires coming off of it. It's got, you know, aluminum parts on the the hinge pin braces. Um, some aluminum parts in the steering. There's aluminum parts for the upper brace. Um, I think the only thing that I would have preferred to have aluminum that it's missing is the, um, the, the uprights. But everything else, I'm, in my opinion, uh, there's not much left to upgrade on this car. So when you flex the chassis, that that um, upper part flexes. And actually sometimes, you know, I, I would almost suspect that it might be designed to flex because you've got these orange brackets here, which act like a pivot. Um, like they're intentionally offset, so you, you, you kind of create a moment that acts on this beam and flexes it. A lot of cars you want some flex in the chassis and so I suspect that this might be kind of an engineered flex system. It's an interesting design. I'm gonna go ahead and put some batteries in the radio. Just to, I'd like to see what the lights look like. I guess that's one thing the car didn't come with is radio batteries. Every other RTR uh, that I've had comes with radio batteries. All right, let's check out the lights. We got running lights. Brake lights. Interesting. When you let off the throttle, you get this kind of um, flashing exhaust. The battery that we get with this is a uh, 3300 milliamp hour LiPo 2 cell. Okay, so it's a 2S 3300 milliamp hour. So. I am curious what we are going to get out of a 2S um, pack. Uh, what I might do is run 3S later on, but I just want to test this kind of bone stock out of the box. What can we get? Um, uh, if we can get you know, 60 miles an hour on 2S, that might be good enough. Um, but we'll see. I like the battery tray, it's some carbon. I like carbon fiber, so <laughs> they got little carbon fiber bits here. You got little foam spacers, so maybe you can take those out to get more uh, bigger packs in there. Uh, Alright, we'll put this away into our battery storage so we don't have to worry about it. And we will call that a night. So zero out the GPS. This is our first run ever on the Rolaro AK917. Alright, so <laughs> it's, it's kind of embarrassingly slow. Uh, 34 miles an hour. Let's do another pass. So, to give some context, my low C Mini JRXT is almost as fast as this car with uh, 2S and basically stock drivetrain. The only upgrade being a brushless motor.
and it's a lot more stable than this car. Letting the cars roll, roll out. 33 on that one. All right, so here's a quick little recap um, on day one of running. This will this will be a multi-part video series just because there's a lot of information to try to squeeze into one video. Um, so in this video, I'm just gonna cover day one running, which is basically the, the stock gearing, stock battery, which is the 2S3300 LiPo. Um, I've gotta say the car was pretty underwhelming on that first uh, day of running. My max that I saw was 34 miles an hour, but uh, the average was, was actually around 33 miles an hour for my runs. Um, the steering on this car out of the box is atrocious. It's, it's really unmanageable. Um, it's a combination of the remote and I think just the, the, the squirreliness of the car. I don't know. I don't know how to describe it. Um, I've done a couple of things since then to improve it. You know, I've towed in the wheels. So when I was doing my runs, I was having to turn down the rates on the radio to about 20, 20 to 15 percent, uh, just to so that it wouldn't get away from me. Um, and then as you go faster, it gets even harder and harder to control. So um, I'm ditching the radio. I'm going with my Noble radio, where I can put in some exponential curves on the steering. I've also added a gyro stabilizer to the steering. Um, I've got that tweaked. Um, so I've, I've kind of gotten rid of the wobble. So if you have the gain turned up too high on that gyro, uh, the car will tend to wag as it drives. And so you just want to turn that gain down just, just to where that wag goes away entirely. Um, and then I added some weights to the bumper as well. And those are in the other runs. So I've actually done quite a few runs on this since this, but I, I'm only covering the first day of runs um, in this video. And I'll do another video covering the other runs and other mods. All right, so I guess I'll wrap up this video. Um, Thanks for tuning in and watching. Uh, if you like the video, hit that like button. If you uh, want to see the other videos and get notifications, uh, hit the subscribe button. Take care. Bye.